look at this whole thing about veterans and suicide and how can I take a step back and, and, and take an out of the box approach to this? How do I fix someone before they break? And I say break, I was just using that as a term, but how do you fix someone before they break? Well, let's get to like, well, how do you raise someone to have resiliency? Because the root of this, I believe, is good resiliency. If you have strong resiliency, you can take a hit on the chin, no point intended, but you, you could take a hit on the chin and be like, damn, that sucked. Okay, let me fix it. I can do better, right? It's like this, when you get a divorce, right? If anyone who's ever gotten a divorce, there's two ways of doing this, right? You can go to the bar and drink your life away, or you can go to the gym and get better for the next person. There's only two ways of doing this. You either get better or you get worse. You let it own you and just crush you and you never find yourself, you never find yourself ever again. Or you'd be like, you know what? Okay, I can do this right next time. And then you actually fix all the little issues you did in your first marriage. So then your second marriage is hopefully healthier, right? That's the same thing. In life, we have to be able to take these, these unexpected uh, blows and be able to come back from that and be like, okay, fine. That's going to happen. Continue moving. And so, so I, I just step back and be like, okay, what are the things, what are the, the little issues that people struggle with, right? Finances, yes, all the time. That was my biggest, my biggest stressor in my life when I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? I don't know how I can get out of this. I'm calling people for bankruptcy lawyers. I'm trying to figure it. Like I've been to that point where I'm like, ah, am I going bankrupt or am I, am I going to just drive off into the sunset and never show up again? Like that's how like I felt trapped. So I know finances make you feel that way. Relationships can make you feel that way, hands down, embarrassments of whatever the case and this and that, like there's a long list of that unhealthy relationships, right? Unhealthy relationships can be really just that toxic relationship can ruin people. And so that's another one, right? So teaching people how to, um, uh, how to understand finances. I think, okay, well we can fix the finances. We can show people how to understand money. We can show people have healthy relationships. We genuinely can. Ego is a big one. Ego is a big one and everything. I love that you said that Mark, uh, uh, Scott. But then you got then you got um, addiction. Addiction is a killer. Addiction is a killer because it kind of exponentially makes everything else worse, right? And then you got pain, right? Pain is pain is one of those things I don't even know how to fix, right? Like you have to find a way to, to mitigate pain, whether it's get yourself in better shape. My back was bad. I did stem cell treatment. Fortunately enough, there was a nonprofit that was able to help me get stem cell treatment. When the stem cell treatment was done, I started to try and get myself in better shape. Right now, my back is doing great. Uh, knock on wood. Right. Uh, and then and then you got to uh, what was it trauma. OK, healing trauma. We got to heal trauma. You got to You got to address the trauma. You got to address the trauma from your childhood. You got to address the trauma from 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 anything. If it's something that you think about, that is something that you're holding on to. And you got to find a way to let that go and accept that is just the facts. You have to be able to accept the past and say, OK, that did happen. Um, it sucks to think about. But you know what? We can move on. and We can be stronger. Right? When you go to counseling, this is what they do. They find ways of giving you ways of coping and saying, accepting the trauma and saying, okay, this did happen. Now I got to find a way to move past it and not let it slow me down.